Okay. Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me okay because I don't have any um, uh, microphones with me. <laughs> so I'm here in Colorado. I've been here about a week. It's been pretty intense with all the uh, work we've been doing, um, doing a lot of spirit cleaning. And um, last night, I led a cord cutting full moon ceremony, and then this amazing shaman did some healings. Boy, yeah, I woke up this morning just like with so much energy. Um, so tonight I am going to channel the, hi Ariel, <laughs> I'm going to channel the Akashic Record librarians and, oh, thank you, thank you, good to know I can be heard. Um, I'm going to channel the Akashic Record librarians and Jesus at this wonderful chocolate store. I mean, like, how much goodness can we pack into one beautiful evening? So um, I was a little nervous because, you know, we have been doing, like, space clearing and, like, all kinds of work while we're here. I don't want to get into it. And it, it's been so intense and sometimes a lot of the time it's been going like all night long day after day so um and it's been a while since i've channeled the librarians like they hang out and chat with me and i go and visit them but it's been a while since i've channeled them and i don't know i think the last time i channeled jesus was at crystal cognizance with uh ariel and dahlia so it's been a bit so um, I was out taking a walk with this beautiful, huge dog named Holden, and uh, we're walking. It's like over here, you know, it's just like high up, so much snow. We're in Golden, Colorado. It's so beautiful. And I just like went up to the library, and I was chatting with the librarians, and um, and they told me like roughly what to expect for tonight, but we just like this much, just so I could relax. And um, and it's going to be cool. I'll record it and post it to my YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, so then I was like, well, as long as I'm in the library and I got nothing else planned, why don't I just kind of walk around and have a good time? So I'm exploring the library. So my 3D body was walking in the snow with this like, I don't know, 150, 200 pound dog who's some sort of like Labrador, St. Bernard mix with other stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous, very gentle fellow. And my mind and spirit were in the Akashic Library walking around. And um, I um, was doing this thing. I don't think I've ever talked about it, but um, where you're walking down this hallway in the library and all these books fly at you but when they fly at you they don't hit you the way like if someone throws a book at you they absorb into you and the entire book downloads into you like you lived it and the books that come at you they're like public access Oh, look at this. I got like water stains. <laughs> I got a lot of snow flying at me today, too. Um, they're like public access books. So they're um, like research books, like the equivalent of encyclopedias and like, you know, your universe for dummies or whatever. You know, they weren't like um, people's lives. They were general information. And they were flying at me and absorbing into me. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so much information. It's awesome. So I just wanted to mention that to you for my friends who go into the Akashic Library. You know, this is something we can do. And it's like, it's so quick. Like in a couple of minutes, Earth time, I probably absorbed 30, 35 big fat books of information. It was so cool. Um, so while I was there, um, I've been doing a lot of work this past year increasingly with um, our Sasquatch brothers and sisters. Um, 
and I've been working with shamans who work with Sasquatch. And um, it's very interesting. Like, I don't want to get too much into my experiences, but they're undeniable. And then sometimes I'll be talking with someone who has full sight and they'll like someone I've never met before. They don't know me. And they'll say something like, why is there a Sasquatch standing behind you? And I'm like, oh, yay, that's so cool. So I thought, well, you know, I'm connecting with Sasquatch. And um, what can I go into the Sasquatch library? And just with the asking, this beautiful doorway opened up in front of me. And I walked in, I was able to get into like, just into like inside the doorway, like into the foyer, like the first couple of steps into the lobby, the main reading area of the Sasquatch library. So now that I know, like I can attune and keep going further and further. And um, I got to talk with the Sasquatch librarians. So I was, asking them, you know, what can you share with me? How can I honor this connection? And um, they are either so nice, so nice, so friendly and kind. And I'm trying to remember, it was like, of course, you know, when you have these experiences, it is like so overwhelming and like, oh my God, I got to go and tell everyone else. And then you tell everyone and it doesn't sound the same coming out of my mouth but the things they said that i really wanted to share is um i was taken with how very intelligent and wise very wise and nurturing and fun the sasquatch you know energy the frequency the the beings of this community are and i asked them like where do you live because you keep walking through earth sometimes physical sometimes non-physical where do you live they were like no 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 we live on earth and what they showed me and this is not necessarily all sasquatch i'm just showing what i saw this one time so if what i saw is in conflict with what other wise people have shared with you you know, it's possible it's all correct. I'm just seeing one corner and someone else is seeing another, or it could be, I, I don't know. So please don't take what I'm saying as like gospel. This is just what I saw this trip. Uh, they were showing me that Sasquatch evolved on earth, um, that, but they're in a different frequency. And um, and I wasn't sure if they were evolving with humans or if they were back to the age that people call the Atlantean time, when you know the giant people, the great people, the more beautiful, brilliant, extraordinary beings than us walked the earth. I'm not sure where in all there they started, but they're obviously ancient. And um, and I said, and they showed me like their frequency of earth is beautiful. It's pure, it's pristine. And it's got like all the magical portals open. It's just like everything we want our earth to be. Um, and I said to them, but people say, you know, like we see you sometimes you're walking along and then you disappear and then you reappear and then you disappear. and you know, I've heard people say that you're like mindless beings that walk through dimensions because you don't know what you're doing. It's all the same to you. And they were like laughing so hard. Like, thank God they weren't insulted. And they were laughing so hard. And they said, you know, when you go for a walk, do you acknowledge everyone you see? Whether you know them or not, do you acknowledge the people who have like low dark energy on them who are maybe like having a bad attitude or the people who are like super depressed or if you're out on a lovely walk, do you just enjoy your walk and maybe say hi to people who are smiling? That's what they're doing. They don't have the need to come up and say, hi, you look like an angry human being who's polluting your planet. I'm a wonderful, happy, benevolent being. Um, and they said sometimes they're lost in their thought, 
you know, but I said, so why do you like appear and disappear, appear and disappear? And they said, they're, oh my God, they're so kind. They're trying to bring their energy into our planet to help us with healing our frequency of the planet. So they're like stitching their energy in, just like when you're sewing clothing, they're stitching their energy in so that they can have all these little portals constantly sending energy from their frequency to us, but none of our frequency to them. Um, and I asked them, like, if you're this, like, <laughs> they're so nice. They answered my questions. I felt like a five-year-old asking a grown-up, like, why is the sky blue, you know? So I asked them if um, you are so much, like, more ancient and wise than we are, um why is it that whenever i see visions of you guys you're living in a sort of a more natural like primitive looking huts you know villages and nature kind of state and they said well that's their choice that they have the ability to see the future because they don't need to exist in time so whenever they go to do anything they look at what is the long range impact of this if we do this now how will it grow and how will it affect things so they had the opportunity to go technology and you know pollution and all that like humans did they chose not to because they saw what would happen so instead they've maintained their ability to connect with all dimensions all frequencies to hop through dimensions, to visit entities and beings, to welcome anyone, and to keep magic, to keep magic very strong in their realm. Oh, hi, Duncan. I look forward to chatting with you about this. Um, my friend Garrett Duncan, who like knows so much more than I do here. So they were so kind. They were answering my questions and showing me how they check every decision they make they say how does this resonate with the frequency of love how does this enhance everyone and everything in the world around us and if it doesn't then they might through curiosity look at well what would that future look like Ugh, that's their equivalent of like a uh horror movie or something you know they're um they're they have no need to go there um, and then they say, okay, so here's the situation. What are all the options? And it can lay out like a road map in front of them or like different wheels, you know, avenues. And they're like, which one has the highest frequency? Which one brings the most love, the most healing? Which one helps everyone? So here's what got me. You know, the Sasquatch so much goodness like i was crying just like being in the foyer of their akashic library just i was tears were pouring down my face they were so kind and benevolent they don't need to help us they're helping us because they see the potential in us and they know that if every frequency of planet earth is unified in love you know, and harmonious joy, then everyone benefits. They showed me, they showed me some of the harm that comes to them because of their desire to help us and the amount of mourning and sorrow they've had to heal from by trying to help us. Um, you know, it's, it's at a cost to them and they need to constantly be coming back together with uh their version of like a ho'oponopono like recollection love uh ceremony like redefining their energy grid and powering up their uh mandala of love between them because i could see you know there's no way for that level of beauty to connect with the density that we have here and for them not to be impacted but they keep healing and they keep sending us the love so uh if you go up to the akashic library you know um what they did tell me is you can ask your librarian to ask for a loner book 
from the Sasquatch library. And then um, depending on your frequency, you might have to work it a little bit so that you can, because you can only read books that you can resonate with. Um, and so if uh, you need to like increase your frequency a bit, then you know, time to do a little meditation and being one with nature and uh, committing acts of kindness and benevolence to others to like lighten up your spirit um, and, you know, take pressure off your shoulders. Um, but you can read some of their books and um, they'd be happy. And oh, those of you go in the library and you know there's that viewing room. It looks kind of like um, like a spaceship room, like you know on Star Trek. Uh, you know the the front room where they're all sitting when they fly. Only you can bring up dimensions or any time in history and watch it on the big window. Um, and when you see one that you feel you connect connect with and it's really educational, you can go through the doorway into it. Um, you can connect with them that way. You can sit in that viewing room and watch, you know, like videos or live streams of Sasquatch and their people. Um, and if what I just said doesn't make any sense to you, I'm sorry. I'll um, I'll tell you what. I'll. Uh, I know I've led people on it in the past. So sometime in, in December, I'll lead uh, a live stream video. Uh, meditation to do that. Uh, I mean, not just for Sasquatch to wherever you resonate with from the viewing room. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I was like so blown away by how brilliant and kind and loving and sophisticated and fun and funny and like uh, sharing they were, the Sasquatch that I was like, oh my God, I got to run and share this with my friends before it all like falls out of my brain. <laughs> so listen, have a wonderful day. Um, like I said, I'm going to be channeling the Akashic Record librarians. They want to give tonight, they want to give messages of what each and every one of us on earth at this moment in our daily life can do for uh, planetary healing and helping raise our frequency um and um then jesus is going to come through and talk about the starseed children and how everyone's waking up right now so i'll record that and i'll post that on youtube in the next day or two um thank you all thank you thank you have a wonderful wonderful day i love you i'll be back in virginia next week for a couple of weeks Bye.